In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Ranks. There are ranks of angels, or crews and groups. Among them there are the angels, the powers or the hosts. We say about the Lord pointing to them. The Lord of hosts. As the prophet Micaiah likewise said, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and his left, 2 Kron, 1818. And among them the archangels. They are seven. The visionary St. John said about them in the book of the Apocalypse. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God. Apoc. 8 2. And he said that they are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Apoc. 5 6. He described them as being lamps and said, And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Apoc. 4 5 or the seven spirits of angels who are gods. The commander of these is Michael, who is surnamed the commander of the army of the Lord, Joshua 5, 14. The archangel Michael. This name of his is a Hebrew name meaning who is like God. He is in a general manner, the commander of the angels. The holy church asks for his intercession in every mass, in the hymns, prayers, and songs. His feast is monthly celebrated on the 12th of every Coptic month, and the miracles which he has operated are mentioned. There are some books which were written about these miracles. Some families have the habit of making the cakes of the angel, Fatir al-Malak, and they distribute them to their friends and loved ones, and they remember that a miracle, relatively to these cakes, happened to a certain family by means of the Archangel Michael. The icon of the Archangel Michael is set up in every church, where he is dressed in a soldier's dress as commander of the army of the Lord. He has a spear in his hand by which he pierces Satan who appears as a dragon, as it is written in the book of Revelation. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. Michael triumphed in that war, and he cast the devil out of heaven, Apoc. 12, 7 to 9. We have chosen this icon of the archangel Michael to be the image which is printed in this pamphlet of the angels. Thus, a church is built up in every monastery on the topmost of the tour, as the Archangel Michael is considered the guardian of the monastery. How many are the churches which are built in the name of the Archangel Michael in cities in all the continents, as a sign of his love and intercession? In view of the greatness of the Archangel Michael, the proselytes of the doctrinal deviation of the witnesses of Yahweh believe that the Lord Christ is the Archangel Michael, and so also believe the doctrinally deviated Adventists. Because of the love of people for the Archangel Michael, many people are called by his name, whether in the Hebrew or in the Coptic language, Mikhail, or by his name in English, Michael, or in French, Michel. They are also called by the name of Malak, meaning angel, or Abdel Malak, meaning the servant of the angel. Many Jews in the Old Testament were called by his name, look in the Dictionary of the Holy Bible. Our church believes that the Archangel Michael is the angel of the resurrection, as it came in, Matt 28. Therefore we say in the prayer of the breaking at Easter, Michael, the commander of the angels, came down from heaven, and rolled back the stone from the mouth of the tomb, and announced the women who carried the spices and fragrant oils, saying, Christ is risen from the dead. It is said of him in the book of the prophet Daniel. Michael. The great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. Dan. 12 1. In spite of the greatness of the archangel Michael, we see his. Humility, as it was mentioned in the epistle of Jude. Yet Michael the. Archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the. Body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation. But said. The Lord rebuke you. Jude 9. And we note that the Archangel Michael is the one who came to help the Archangel Gabriel when the devil, the prince of the kingdom of Persia, stood before him to oppose him. Dan 10, 11 to 13. His name is mentioned in Dan 10, 12, and in Jude 9 and Apocalypse 12, 7. The Archangel Gabriel. He is also one of the commanders of the angels. His name in 
Hebrew means the strength of God or the power of God. Sometimes the pronunciation of his name is Gabriel. He is the one who announced to the priest Zacharias that is sterile. Wife will give birth to a son who will be called John, Luke 1 13. He mentions some prophecies about that son, that show the knowledge of the future by the angels, according to a manifestation to them by God, and that he has the power to punish that great priest. He said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day. These things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. Luke 1, 19-20. Also, he is the one who announced the Holy Virgin with the Divine Incarnation from her. Luke 1 26, and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you, therefore also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke 1 35. He was not only an announcer, but was also an elucidator. This appears in the vision of the prophet Daniel, who when he was Perplexed in its explanation, the Lord said, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision, Dan, 8.16. And yet another time, O Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand, Dan, 9.21-22. That shows also the deep understanding of the angels and the knowledge of the future which was given to them by God. In the same vision, we see that the archangel Gabriel touched him. And he was strengthened, and he made him stand after lying on earth. Dan. 8.18 Dan. 10.18 There are other archangels, as Raphael, his feast is on the third of the month of Nasi, and Saurile, his feast is on the 27th of Tuba, and three others whom the clerical custom has mentioned. Among the angelical ranks, there are also the cherubim and the seraphim.